Thanks, Bob. That's the best introduction you ever made. <laughs> you know, I'm a little bit worried because I'm in the era of the 40s, and I don't sing very well. But you represented us very well, Bob. It, it makes me feel quite old to know that uh, some of those people that, that are here tonight don't remember that song. Uh, but it was a significant. Actually, uh, men, I'm delighted to be here. I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, uh, be among Michigan people and people that I've known for years and years and years, those that played with me and those that played uh, for me, and those that I've even coached against like Alex Agassi down here at Northwestern Purdue, one of the great people, one of the great coaches I've ever known. Alex saw the light and joined Michigan. But what I'd like to do, just give you a couple of ideas or thoughts that uh, have been, you've heard it all evening long, the tradition of Michigan. And believe me, when you think about the tradition of Michigan, it's really a deep-seated thing where all of us feel this great feeling for the university and what we've done, our teammates, our coaches, and all the people that have been involved. And having been on the other side of the fence recently at the University of Iowa, we fought very hard, as Alex would know, we fought very hard to build tradition at the University of Iowa. And it's not easy to do. And one of the answers to the great tradition that you've had here at the Michigan that we've all enjoyed has been the great series of coaches down through the years Starting with Fielding Yost. Now, nobody here played for Yost except, Herc, did you play for, for Yost? <laughs> Not really. And then Harry Kipke and Fritz Chrysler, Benny Osterbahn, Bo Schembechler, Gary Moeller, and now Lloyd Carr. Those are some of the greatest coaches, as was mentioned earlier by Jim, and maybe the greatest coach of all was Bo. But those are some of the greatest coaches that ever coached the game of football. And at no time did Michigan have an era where they fired a coach for not winning. They had no traumatic experiences. They had no place in the program to have to rebuild. They just absolutely, on each step of the way, made it possible for the program to continue to be as it was a winning program. Number one, when you're trying to build tradition, that's the answer, have great coaches. Secondly, have great players. And you are the people that made the difference as far as that is concerned. The other thought I had in mind about Michigan people is this, that in this era of professional athletics, and I believe in it to a degree, anyway, I think there's a selfishness, there's a thought about me and me alone, and we don't have, in my opinion, the examples, the role models, the people that we should have in the forefront as far as former football players or basketball or wherever it may be. And I think at Michigan, we've been unselfish. We've extended ourselves. We've wanted to be a part of the role model situation. We've wanted to make football and athletics at the university level important important to young people. And I think I just heard the young man at the, who was representing the national championship team say exactly that. He is representing the game of football and not himself. That's what I believe Michigan's all about. And that's why I think the tradition not only continues now, but will continue in the future. You have one of the greatest coaches in the country in Lloyd Carr here right now. And I know that you'll support him in all the ways that uh, are necessary to keep this program going. Thanks very much. It's my great pleasure to be with all of you, and particularly the guys that I coached and played with. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bob.